This video is going to show you how to build a basic habitat out of paper as part of step two for our animal habitats and adaptations challenge. A finished habitat will have a background, ground, and 3D pop-up details. Here's how to get started. You will need some construction paper, pencils, crayons, scissors, and a glue stick. The task card for step two provides a helpful checklist on possible habitat features that you might include. We are going to start with the ground by folding in the side about an inch. It's okay if it's a little bit more, it doesn't need to be exact, but then we're gonna do the same to the other side and to the top. This is going to make a tray where the sides are able to stand up and we're gonna be able to add things to our ground like pop-ups. I'm going to make two small cuts. The cuts do not need to go very far. It's just to make a tab so that we can glue our tray walls so they stand up. And now I'm ready to make the background. The background only requires two folds, and if it helps, you can use a pencil to mark out where you wanna make your folds. Folding the paper in means that it can stand up. We are going to attach this to our tray using glue. As we fold it together, you can decide if you want the ground on the outside or on the inside of your background. I am adding glue along the whole back panel and on the sides where I'm gonna make it stand up. It can take a few seconds of holding it in place before it will stick. Now I'm ready to add background details like clouds, the sun, mountains, the forest, anything that you would like to add to your standing background. If you are using construction paper to make your cutouts, it is helpful to work from the edge of the paper and not try to cut from the center. I'm going to use a bubble cut method, which means I cut around the shape and then I worry about cutting the details out. This is really helpful when you're cutting complex shapes like clouds. If you cut a general shape and then do the detail with a much smaller piece of paper. You can choose to glue the clouds directly to your background paper or you can make them pop off the background. If you are choosing to glue it on, you wanna hold your paper so that the background is flat against your table so that you give the glue a chance to dry. If you are making a pop-up, one way I like to use is a long stretched rectangle and I'm gonna make a small tube. This just means I put some glue on the end and I'm gonna flip it around and that way I can add my cloud to the top and glue the bottom of this to the background paper and it will make my cloud pop away from the background blue. There's another way you could add clouds if you attach it to the tray. If you fold over a piece of paper, you can glue to the side that sticks out and this will be a third way that you could add clouds that pop away from the background. As you think about the details that might be in the far distance, you can use cutout paper like I did for this mountain and you can overlap paper. I'm going to make a green grass hill for this habitat and I would just glue that to the back. If you prefer, you can also use drawing materials like crayons or markers to make your background details. Think about how it works with your ground. I chose to add an ocean on the sky and add mountains in the distance. Think about what you want to add to your habitat background and use the checklist on the task card step two if you need ideas. When you are ready, you can start making pop-up details for the ground. Ground details can be anything that belongs in your habitat, like grass, sand, rocks, insects, a water source, and more. On our website, you can find a video for pop-up paper tricks, which is all about ways that you can add pop-up details for your habitat. I'm gonna show you one pop-up detail that uses the tab to do my ocean scene. Sometimes it helps to draw things out on paper before you cut them. I am using the bubble cut method where I made the paper smaller before I worried about the detail cuts. 
This is going to be using a tab, which means I just fold the bottom flap so that I have something to glue on and make it stand up. Think about what pop-up objects you would like to add in your own habitat. Maybe it's not ocean. Maybe you want to learn how to make a tree stand up or how to make grass. You can also use pop-outs to make caves, rocks, or sand. Try to add three or more details to the background and the ground of your habitat.